Folks, Engineer 775 wanted to uh, talk to you about sustainable refrigeration or making ice when the sun is shining. And I've been doing it now for a, quite a while, over a year at least, using a DC refrigerator, uh, running it when the sun is shining and making ice in the freezer. And I'm using the Sundancer DC165 model and it has just been flawless. So I have it filled with ice balls from uh, Cryogel, and I'll show you a little bit more about these and their function. Um, but they're a dimpled um, ball, like a little soccer ball, and as it freezes it expands of course, and the dimples pop out a little. They will not quite fully pop out, and then they will cycle over a million times. So I'll show you a little more details on that. But think about ways to keep uh, ref your refrigerators going or be able to keep things frozen. Or, you know, maybe, you know, cooling, refrigeration, freezing is part of your food storage um, plan. And people are like, well, I can't do it if the power's out. Well, true. And you got to have power. So I've been using a simple 12-volt solar system to run this freezer for a long time. I started with a DCF50, it's like a college dorm size refrigerator, freezer size, and it was a little too small, and then I got this 165, which is the step up, a lot nicer cabinet, uh, just a really good product from Sundancer. I'll put the link in the description. And so, um, but I've kind of dedicated it to thermal storage, as we've been talking about um, thermal storage with, um, in terms of air conditioning with this chiller I have installed in my house and um, using these cryogel balls. But on a smaller scale, just having sustainable refrigeration is what this video is about. Stay tuned for the chiller and, and thermal storage there. I've been um, reading up on it, thermal storage energy systems and all just geeking out and going back and seeing, you know, trying to determine the most efficient way to store thermal energy. This has done a lot in industry uh, to, to basically uh, flatten out the power curve in California and other places, the, the curve that is called the duck. Um, that was afternoon, huge time, times of huge power consumption. Being able to pull from your thermal storage bank you, uh, your, is just an awesome, awesome, awesome concept. And if you can make ice with the sun um, and just embrace that paradox, then you are just just loving it and I have been loving it so making ice a hundred kits the more ice I can make and then transport that ice to areas that need to um, need it to be used in with your refrigerators other freezers um, taking my lunch to work uh, transporting food from one person to another just preserving things so um, I it definitely requested the ice cream thermostat in this model just to get a little colder uh, I'd have to double check to see how far that goes down to, but um, it is just the, the way to go, I think, to make to make ice. And um, so I'll show you a little bit more about these ice balls because they're pretty cool. Uh, people are intrigued when I throw one at them. Uh, not really hard, but just um, I don't try to hurt them. But I just, you know, they, they take a couple with them, put them, they, they've been using them in their, their lunch. <laughs> so, all right, let's show you a little bit more. Okay, here's my little system. I don't usually have it sitting on top of the freezer. just wanted to be able to show it to you. I'm using a Peltec DIN rail timer. Uh, I've got a little monitoring, little inline um, amp meter, power meter, running about 36 watts, and running the, the Sundancer. This is the 165 model, and it has the, you'll see down here it says IC stat. That's the ice cream thermostat. And what that allows you to do is a lot of times ice cream needs to be a lot colder than a typical freezer it's just the way it is and and so um, that that's it so I just want to show you some of the controls I just have it hooked up to my old good old reliable Sunrunner 12 volt portable solar generator I did add a battery for capacity to it a lot of ways to do that um, but she oh man I think we're going on four years I use it every day and I basically have it here to make ice and to just demonstrate right now that you can have sustainable refrigeration and take 
your thermal storage ice balls or ice chunks or however you want to make ice out of your freezer, put them in your refrigerator. You can have pretty much refrigeration forever if you have solar. So anyway, that's just the way I like to do it. And I just wanted to also show this uh, Sundancer cabinet. The cabinets are really nice in these. They're made by Electrolux. Um, a little better quality than the DCF50 that I've had. The DCF50 works good, it just had really poor handles on it, I think. But uh, this is a very nice uh, DC freezer if you need a chest freezer option. There's all different sizes, 165, 225, and the 390. Um, but the only one that can do 48 volts is the 390, okay, and it's about 15 cubic feet. Um, this is small. I forgot. I think this is 5 cubic feet, but if I'm just making ice, I think it's just 5 cubic foot of ice um, that can you can do so much with. So make ice while the sun shines. And here are the cryo balls. These are the, I call the icy balls. I got these from my buddy at multi aqua and he has used them in with a in association with calmac tanks we've just been talking a lot about thermal storage and weighted ways to do it so these are solid ice they can cycle and you can do a million refreezes per ball that have these dimples and they expand and they won't fail or leak uh, which would be a fail so anyway that's a lot of ice i could keep so many uh refrigerators going just from making ice when the sun is shining uh, and it, it, what it's doing is saving my battery because I'm not taxing my battery we're trying to run this freezer at night so I got it set up with the ice cream thermostat and the timer I just let this thing crank during the day freeze and then shut down in the after late out you know five six o'clock so that I'm not touching my battery and the insulation of the cabinet is so thick it's so good that they stay they don't thaw defrost at all and so I have a lot of these I think I use these in my lunch I take these and put them in my lunch bag I put them in coolers to transport things for friends or whatever and um, but I, I've done that experiment with just uh, um, I got an old refrigerator which I'm replacing in a couple days with a, a new linear compressor model but I've been throwing throw a couple of these in the refrigerator and that it'll keep it from running and so that's a just a thought and if you didn't have any power and it couldn't run you can do this this has been off grid I've been doing this for almost a year making ice ice is nice okay let me tell you a little bit about these cryogel ice balls that you see in my freezer um, they're basically trademarked as ice ball thermal storage pretty simple but how they're used, they're used in so many things you might not even realize. There's even aircraft, you've been on a plane and you want to get a blast of cold air out of the nozzle above your head. That is coming from, um, and many times, these cryogel ice balls coupled with a, um, it's a air con Condition, pre air con preconditioned air is what system that's in the, the airplane. So they've been around, been cooling uh, cabins since 1996. So really neat. All different. There's pressurized systems, atmospheric pressure, um, pressure atmospheric systems. And let me just just show you um, the the ice ball. Again, is this dimpled uh, cryogel ice ball, and they're about four inches in diameter. And they're basically designed to expand. They have 16 preformed dimples on them. And you can see here a picture of a basic a chiller um, that uses glycol that is pumped through a ice cryogel ice ball storage there's tanks again there's pressurized tanks there's atmospheric tanks there's all different types of tanks and then your load is you know the air conditioning needed so um, this has been used for um, you know in ways that um, when power is cheap at night off peak hours to actually charge that storage tank but um, I've also been looking at, hey, why don't I use the sun to charge that storage tank and run the chiller during um, sunlight hours? So I'm trying to do two things here. Um, run the air conditioning load off of solar, but with any excess um, capacity, once the, the load is satisfied, to go ahead and make ice and then run off of the ice bank through the night. So it's 
doing double duty and I just I think it's a fantastic concept and uh, we're just uh, having fun with it working with multi aqua um, just doing it small scale at my house and but uh, that that video is still to come so anyway I just saw a little bit more about these these ice balls um, and so you can you can plumb the you can it just it's just it's a very simple it's a very simple product but an awesome product and you can use it in so many different ways so um, that's it I don't know if you probably have never seen it I was fascinated when I first saw these I'm like wow these are awesome so check out cryogel and um, consider it as part of your uh, sustainable refrigeration projects this is engineer 775 signing out